They're just coming up now towards the mile mark. Citoyen from Buckskin, Sagaro, then Bruni taking slightly closer order on the inside. Bright finish going up on the outer, Centricon with them. And it's Citoyen and Buckskin. Buckskin taking the lead now. Buckskin going on at the seven furlong pole from Citoyen, Sagaro, Centricon, and Bright Finish making a run towards the outside. Bruni's still well in touch, although he's last. And they're coming down towards the six furlong pole now. And as they do so, it's Buckskin being pressed by Bright Finish. Then comes Sagaro, then Citoyen, then Bruni, and Centricon has been relegated to last place. And it's Buckskin now in the lead with Sagaro going into second as they come to the five furlong mark. Then Bright Finish, then Bruni close behind them. Then comes Citoyen losing ground. Centricon's dropping right out of it. And it's the old rivals now, one, two, as they race towards the home turn in the Gold Cup. It's Buckskin from Sagaro with Bruni coming there smoothly just in behind Sagaro. It's Yves Saint Martin from Leicester Pigot. Then Brown Taylor in third as they race round the home turn in the Gold Cup. It's Buckskin from Sagaro and Bruni. Buckskin with a three length advantage over Sagaro. Bruni the Grey coming there on the outside. And as they level up for home, two and a half furlongs to run in the Gold Cup now. And it's Buckskin being chased by Sagaro and Bruni coming there on the outside. It's Buckskin from Sagaro, then Bruni and Citoyen fighting our way back. Coming down past the two furlong mark now, and it's Buckskin from Sagaro. Then comes Bruni, then Citoyen on the right of the picture. It's Buckskin from Sagaro. Lester Bigot looking to his left for danger. Sticks, he's got Buckskin cold. And it's Sagaro now going into the lead as they race inside the closing stages. Here comes Ask of History. Sagaro is riding away from Buckskin and Citoyen as they race up towards the line. Sagaro is going to win it for the third time. I'm going to post home of that at the line. Sagaro, the winner from Buckskin. Fifth was Bright Finish, sixth was Centricon. And so Lester Piggott rides his eighth Gold Cup winner. Sagaro becomes the first in Gold Cup history to complete the hat trick. And this, the final race of his career. And what a wonderful exit. Past the six and coming to the five marker now. And it's still Caliban in the lead from Hogarth, then Carabas, then Blakeney, then Najinsky in fifth place, then Krepalana, who's six, and they're past the five marker now. And it's still Caliban for England from Hogarth for Italy. Then comes Carabas on the outside of Blakeney, and then Najinsky poised just in behind him. And Krepalana is last of the six, and they're past the four marker now. And it's still Caliban, Sandy Barkley from Hogarth. Bill Williamson running around the outside of Hogarth on Caliban. Carabas, then comes Jeff Lewis chasing Blakeney along, and then Lester Pigott taking closer order on Najinsky, and finally Krepalana, and they're swinging around the home straight now, with Caliban being pressed by Carabas, Hogarth in between these two, Najinsky's just in behind Carabas, Blakeney's over on the far rails, Krepalana's beginning a run, and it's Caliban over on the far side being pressed by Carabas, and here comes Najinsky and Lester Pigott towards the stand side, with Hogarth making ground over on the far side now, they're coming into the final furlong, and it's Najinsky striding away from him, Najinsky going away, being chased by Blakeney now. It's the two Derby winners who look like being first and second. Lester Pickett looks over his shoulder. Blakeney's making ground on him, but Lester's just letting him canter. What a horse this is. He's trotted up. Najinsky's the winner. Blakeney's second. Kefalana is third. Carabas is fourth. Hogarth is fifth and Caliban is sixth and last. And so the result of the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes is first, number eight, Najinsky, owned by Mr. Charles Engelhard, trained in Ireland by Vincent de Braun, ridden by Lester Pickett. Second is number one, lead being pressed by... France, Ireland, England, and France at the moment, with Ardross quickening now, goes up on the inside of Noelino, Lester, just in behind El Barda. They're racing out of Swindley Bottom now, Got just over a mile to run in the Gold Cup. Zudo from El Barda. Noelino, Ardros, and Tipperary Fixer. That was the mile post you spotted then. Zudo, El Barda, Noelino, Ardros. Race to the seven furlong pole. Just about to pass it now. Zudo from El Barda, Noelino, Ardros, and Tipperary Fixer. And coming to the six furlong from home marker Zudo from El Barda, Noelino, Ardros and Tipperary Fixer 
And now just over five furlongs to run in the Gold Cup. And still Zudo for Sweden from Noelino for Ireland going up on the outside of Elbada for France. Ardros is just in behind them and then Tipperary Fixer. Racing towards the home turn now. Zudo still from Noelino, Elbada, Ardros and Tipperary Fixer. Well inside the final half mile. Zudo from Noelino. Racing up sides him now, then Elbada, then Ardros going round the outside of Elbada, and then Tipperary Fixer under pressure from Maurice Philipperon. They're racing to the two furlong pole now, and it's Noelino who's taken it up from Zudo. Elbada challenging, and Ardros coming there very strongly towards the right of the picture as we see them, and Lester Pickett coming to take it up now on Ardros. And as they race past the furlong pole, it's Ardros going away now from Elbada, Noelino, and Tipperary Fixer as they race up towards the line. Here's another for Ardros as they come up towards the line. In the Gold Cup, Ardros is going to win it in tremendous style. Going to be close for second, but Ardros is the winner. And it's a photo for second between Noelino, Tipperary, Fixer with in-between horses, Elbada, and finally the brave little Zudo, the Polish-bred Zudo from Sweden. And so the result of the Gold Cup is first number two Ardras owned by Mr Charles and George trained by Henry Cecil written by Lester Piggott and a photograph for second third and fourth places Ardras a fourth success two starts this year